the units in size and the area, basically we're looking at roughly just under nine acres uh, total. Uh, these blocks are set up for, um, where can I phrase this? They were set up, though, they were staggered from each other. So basically we had to do one unit, stop, go to another unit. It wasn't one continuous burn. It was uh, separated burns out between the road and other study areas that we want to make sure that we kept the fire out of and not to uh, get it into the other area that's being studied. All the units were uh, lined around with a dozer, uh, roughly about a blade width wide, about 12 feet in size, sometimes a little more. Uh, went down to just above, uh, just below the mineral soil to kind of get down to that uh, level so we could see a separation of the fuels and break them apart. And uh, from there, hose lays, we put out roughly about uh, 2,000 feet uh, on the units, utilized some of it over again, not just on the whole unit at once, but we ended up uh, doing it uh, one unit stop, move the hose and the equipment over to another unit. Weather conditions that day, we were looking at roughly about 60 degrees in temperature and above. Um, I was hoping for that window of 60 to 70 degrees uh, and RHs into the 50s and 40s uh, to keep this fire uh, in control. Uh, we didn't want it too dry or too windy. I uh, tried to keep our winds uh, below that 6 to 10 mile an hour range uh, just for keeping it contained. And uh, a lot of the areas around it were some were wet, um, they didn't hinder us too bad for burning, I'd probably say it didn't allow it to burn as deep um, and for when putting in the fire lines with the equipment it uh, caused a little bit of uh, rotting which you know I had to go minimum with the equipment in them areas uh, but overall fire wise it worked out pretty well, the fire uh, carried well and uh, consumed up some of the smaller fuel types, uh, ones in our ones, tens, some of the hundred hour fuels did fairly well uh, for the main forest service. This was a great opportunity to get some of this uh, training done. Uh, I guess some of our guys out there got some training with it um, and we got to reach out to our local communities and bring some of them in to help us out with that. So overall great benefit there and education of uh, to the public and to us about the use of fire uh, and slash type fuels and the heavier type of fuels and the prepping the uh, setup form and the uh, actual implement of fire and how it's different from your lighter type fuels like your grasses and your brush to the heavier slash and it was a good experience on that end.